Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout. In our last video, we did end the day by reading through Richard Gray's audio diary and by everything that he said, it seems as though he is the mastermind behind all this crazy mutated army that's been going on. He's some sort of crazed mutated creature and he's creating more crazed mutated creatures to create an army to bring unity to the wasteland. <laughs> so from all of that, it seems as though he is is the mutant leader that I need to find and destroy. Not really sure where he's at, but I'll worry about that later. Now, there were more options in the computer that I wanted to go through, but before we do that, I want to read the other log that I was able to download, which was Captain Maxon's diary. So on October 10th, 2077, I, Roger Maxon, Captain Serial Number 072389, have started this log because it doesn't look good for any of us, and I'd like for people to know what really happened here. All hell broke loose and we finally discovered what the, those scientists bastards were up to. The colonel has locked himself in his office and seems to be having some sort of breakdown. The men are screaming for blood, they're looking to me for answers, and I'm not sure what to do. Someone has to do something though before this place sinks into an anarchist bloodbath. Yes, that kind of makes sense. Anyway, next day, or two days later, rather, every time we get a report from higher up, things get worse here. The war is going in a very bad direction, and this place is about to go into full mutiny with all the chaos that entails. I stopped one of the men from executing a scientist today and demanded that we interrogate them to find out what their orders were. Next day, I killed a man today. I was interrogating Chief Scientist Anderson and he was giving me the full details of their inhuman experiments. He said his orders came from the government, but I didn't buy it. He started screaming about how he was following orders, how he was a military man, and I just shot him. I tell myself it was to keep him from causing a full mutiny among the men, but I'm not so sure. Two days later, I tried to speak to the colonel through the door, but he seems to have completely lost touch with reality. I broke down the door with several of the men just in time to watch him blow his head off. Right before he pulled the trigger, he said he was sorry. So three days later, by killing the egghead, I seem to have confirmed my position as leader of the men. They follow me without question now. The interrogations invariably end up being executions. Oh, that's scary. Shellman held out the longest, but the end result was the same. Her arguments about her orders were a bit too specific to be completely made up. I'm getting a really bad feeling in my gut about this, about how this is all going to end up. I don't even lie to myself anymore about my reasons for executing the scientists. Two days later, I finally replied to the outside world over our radio. I don't know why they never sent anyone here to see what was happening when we stopped responding to their transmissions. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they'll come now. I declared ourselves seceded from the Union. They remember Jefferson Davis. What will history say about me? I don't know. October 22nd. Well, probably nothing considering the bombs dropped, right? Anyway, October 22nd, so two days after that, what the hell is going on? We declare ourselves to be in full desertion from the army and no longer under the government's command and what happens? Nothing, something bad is coming. Next day, I can't believe those bastards finally did it. Damn them all to hell. They finally let the A-bomb fly. We were right in the middle of trying to pry the real story out of Von Felden when we completely lost contact. I have a feeling that the research center was hit hard. I don't know why, just call it a gut feeling. It seems inconceivable that we were not targeted. I'm sure China will make up for that oversight real soon. Luckily, we had moved our families from outside into the facility the day before yesterday. We do not yet know if the fallout has reached this area. So the facility he's re referring to, that's the one that was in the glow, right? Which they did do direct hits on. So two days after the bombs dropped, Sergeant Plattner volunteered to go outside today to take specific readings on the atmosphere. It seems the radiation has not spread thus far. Since he was wearing his power armor, there was no threat to him from radiation. But if he had been exposed, he would have been, he would have, have had to be exiled? We don't have adequate decontamination facilities here. Hmm. Interesting. And awful, but... I guess like radiation spreads, right? Or something like that. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how that works. Anyway, next day after that, I convinced the men that we should bury the scientists. I don't know why. Perhaps it was to ease my conscience 
I finally started to believe their stories when the last one was dying. My God, what have I become? And then the day after that, we're leaving this God for second place today. I'm leading the exodus to the old government bunker at Lost Hills. Oh yeah, that's right. He's He and them were the founders of the Brotherhood. Oh. I'm leaving this log behind to be buried when this place goes in the next exchange. Who knows? Maybe someone will find it. So the 27th from the 10th. So in 17, 18 days, like full anarchy and then end of the world apocalypse. Okay. All, all the awful things. All right. So was there anything on these computers before I go back to this one that I know that works? Let's just double check. You manipulate the computer and a moment later it sparks once and then shuts down. Can I repair it? No. How about this one? Okay. Nothing it seems. All right. So we have search log set base to alert status. I don't want to do that. I finished the logs, right? Anderson. Okay, display security codes. Attempt to hack the firewall to get more data. Display security code encryption table. You've successfully hacked into the encryption table command. So initiate one minute silent self-destruct sequence. Initiate 30 seconds self-destruct sequence and set base to alert. No, uh, set base to alert. Initiate three minutes silent self-destruct sequence. Initiate three minutes self-destruct sequence. And, and set base to alert. Well, there's nobody left in the base alive except my companions. I need to get them. And then that Sarah girl. Maybe if I set it to alert, she'll run out. We can try it. There's no other super mutants to be seen. So let's try that. Okay, we're executing that. Done. All right. I have 300 seconds left. That seems like more than three minutes, but okay. Let's head to the elevator. Wait, what is this one? You see a sign on the door stating that, oh, it's out of order. Okay, well, we don't need to go to that, that elevator. And my friends are on the second floor, right? Third floor. Sarah, Sarah, you need to leave. Oh, Sarah, come on, flee with us. Oh wait, hang on, let me take some more. Oh wait, hang on, I've got a super stim pack down here. I should use a super stim pack. So I'm gonna be running through force fields, right? I think my friends are on the first floor. I should definitely get them. So they don't die a horrible death. <laughs> I mean, like, I already lost dog meat because I wouldn't reload. <laughs> Let's not lose my other friends. Okay. Oof. All right. Hi, friends. Let's go. We need to be elsewhere from here. All right, Tygo. I think we should stick together. Where is Katya? Katya, let's go. Ian, well, I should, I should, I suppose we should shave Ian. I don't know why I felt the need to talk that way, but there you go. Goodbye, little robots. Psycho, keep up. I, I don't want to have to reload to save you guys because you ran through a bad force field. Oh, Ian, Ian, I mean like, okay, so let's save here and then I'm assuming we should flee because we, oh, no, 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 we don't want to go back inside. I'm assuming we should flee so that we don't die a horrible death. Because self-destruct, I imagine every, the base and everything around it would would be destroyed. There we 
we go. There's a proper explosion. <laughs> Can I go back there? You've gone up a level. You've gained 10,000 experience points. All right, I would... My screens are being weird. My inventory screen's being weird. So I destroyed the source of the mutant. So now I just need to find the mutant leader. And I, um, I haven't gone to one place yet. So I'm hoping that it's there. Let's look at my upgrade screen though. 18 points. Okay, so we can max out our science, maybe. And then we can maybe max out repair. And then unarmed melee, first aid, maybe some more in first aid. I don't know. Sure. I don't know that it matters. Okay, well, let's save again. Let's go back to the Brotherhood and see if there's any updates there. Probably not, but I feel like that's a safe place to drop off my companions. Like they'll be safe there. Maybe, possibly. As I wait, I, are all the random encounters all done? Is that why I don't get any more? <laughs> Because I feel like normally I would have had like three random encounters by now. Okay, um, let's try the bottom level. Let's try talking to Maxon. <sighs> Hello again, Initiate. I didn't get out. I, I destroyed a mutant base for you guys and all I get is a get out. Let's try the person over here. There we go. Good work with the mutants. We already heard that you destroyed their production facility. Thanks for taking care of that problem for us. No problem. I get I get nothing for for my my hard work. <laughs> All right, companions, please come here. I need to break up with you again. Um Thanks for your help. You can go. Uh thanks for your help. That's part ways. And Ian, you can leave now. And then I'm gonna go empty my bags a smidgen. Let's see, I've got... Oh, the, f the one pound flour. <laughs> I think that was the second floor. Let's go do that real quick. Just, just in case. locker that never gets full which I really like okay I don't know what that is but let's leave that behind uh, as much as I like the alien blaster I'm I'm gonna leave it here and then we'll leave the flower behind I think I can leave plastic explosives behind do I need the robe for anything like do I do these robes weigh? I've got 198 carry weight right now and I can carry up to 250. Like I'm going down to the cathedral area because that's the only place I have left to explore so I'm assuming that's where the bad guy is at. His name I've already forgotten. Michael? No. Richard. Um, so I wonder if I need the robes for anything but it's not like I'm going to be sneaky <laughs> at all. <laughs> but uh, worst case, I can always drop them if I get my bags too full. But I don't expect to need much else because I feel like I'm going to uh, destroy the mutant leader and then game game one. Probably not today. I 
imagine maybe by if I'm not too, if it's not too big of a facility, I imagine by like Friday. And then and then off to Fallout 2 we shall go. Really? Why? Why do you hate me? Dislike me so much. Oh, I just walk in. Is that what happens? I just walk in, don't I? I just walk in. I know what I'm doing. I'm playing this game for a while now. <laughs> the members of the Brotherhood might be offended if a stranger, I mean an initiate, approaches. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I will. Are you happy now? My bad. Okay, ground level. Although I don't think I, not that I can use my inventory button anymore because it decided to take a vacation permanently. All, all right, let's go out here, we'll switch. And then I'll save um, here. And then to the cathedral, we shall go. New area. <laughs> All right, Cathedral, which was just south of the Boneyard, right? Nope, all the random encounters are not done. I see several red scorpions some distance away. I mean, I guess once you're done making all your money and you don't need to carry around extra stuff, your companions are kind of not needed. Especially when I've got my power armor, my super awesome gun, <laughs> where I can sometimes one-shot people, which is so awesome. So cathedrals in like Santa Monica, maybe? A large ornate building rises into the sky. A crowd of people walk aimlessly before it. Good to meet you. Let's get on it. Um, did Tycho follow me? You see a child with a real attitude. Put away my gun. What in the hell do you want? Where might I meet this master? I just want to find out what's going on around here. Who's in Yeah, let's just find out what's happening around here. You always ask stupid questions, loser. Appar apparently. Who's in charge? Sure as hell ain't you, punk. Okay. <laughs> Where might I meet this master? In hell, loser. You gonna shoot me now? Nope. Ooh. The music. Follower scout. We're not here to talk. A zombie? Well, we have to talk to the zombie. Hello, friend. I'm so glad you've joined our cause. Sure. I, I, I haven't yet, though I am interested. Aside from this peace and unity stuff, what are you guys all, all about? It had to happen. Where do I... Who do I see about initiation? I came here for instruction. Can I see the master friends? How friendly do you want to get? Uh, let's try the first one. Okay. So I don't know much. The mind of the master is so great. I do know that the children are marching north. We will take control of all the settlements and baptize everyone. Oh, oh dear, that's not good. The baptism will change us and bring us closer to God so we can have peace and unity and there will be and there will never be war or destruction again. And where is the baptismal font? That sounds like he's going to dump everybody in the FEV2 virus. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful day that's going to be. Well, I've heard all I need. Yeah, where is this baptismal font? Unfortunately, I have never been privileged enough to see the baptismal font. Perhaps if I offer enough praise to the master, I will receive a blessing. Hail the master. Hail the holy flame. Hail peace and unity. I mean, there's something wrong with peace and unity per se. I see a thug in robes. <laughs> okay. Hey, I haven't heard about you. You've killed all sorts of shit, haven't you? Oh, no, no. 
No, I, I read that right. Hey, I haven't heard about you, question mark. You've killed all sorts of shit, haven't you, question mark? What brings you here? I heard about some strange stuff happening here. What's going on? Peace, unity, that sort of stuff. Where's the master? Just looking for a friend, someone to talk with. I Let's go with the first one. We're getting ready for war. We're going to save the world so we can fill it with all this peace and unity bullshit. <laughs> bullshit, tell me you're joking. It must be, it must be true, wink. Bullshit, tell me you're joking. It must be true, straight face. Yeah, if it's bullshit, why are you here? Ha, huh. me, I'd rather screw someone rather than get screwed. But we shouldn't talk like this out in the open. The zombies don't like it. A teenager. Uh, hello. Hello, kid. Can you tell me what this place is about? Okay. So this is the children of the cathedral. I don't know why they say cathedral twice. <laughs> we worship the master and we yell a lot about peace and unity. It sounds kind of dumb, but the master is real smart. So I guess it must be okay. Well, can you tell me more about the master? I didn't tell you that. The night kid would eat me. Oh. Um, hmm. Fine, kid, what's the good news? Okay, so you got any dirt for your old friend? Uh, I really don't know very much. Honest, bless the, bless the master, bye. Hmm. So I'm doing pretty good. How are you? He, he don't want to talk to me anymore, does he? No, he does not. Chanter of the ch of the children. Hello, friend. The master's vision has made me truly alive for the first time. May I share my wonderful story with you? Where might I meet this master? Who's in yeah? Go ahead and tell me your story. There was once a man who was so full of hate that he nearly died. But now, praise the master, praise the holy flame, praise the vineyard of life. We. That's not a good story. I'm just saying. So who's in charge here? You are in charge, friend, but the master is your guide. Praise the master, praise the holy flame that lights our way. And where might I meet this master? The master looks above, the master sits below. Watch the peace and unity grow. You know, I'm just gonna say it. This whole area screams cult to me. Uh, the only other place I can go is inside. Let's go into some... Are these guys like following me around? Who is this one? Chanter of the Children. Yeah, share me, show me, share with me your story. There we go. That's the exact same story. You guys are... You know, let's go inside. They're just following me around, aren't they? All right, let's go into all these rooms. Oh no, they're gonna block me in. Okay, I gotta save. <laughs> I gotta save in case they block me in. And there's more, more chanters over there. Yep, it's a cult. It screams cult. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hello, sir, your reputation precedes you. Is there anything I can help you with? I was wondering what the cathedral is all about. Let's start there. We have very similar interests. You have slain monsters and brigands and made the world a safer place. We plan to, to do the same on a larger scale. What sort of scale? Who are the monsters and brigands that you're planning to slay? Does this have anything to do with the holy flame I keep hearing about? Sorry, lady, but I don't believe in a, world, a, a word of what you're saying. How wonderful. Praise the master. Praise the holy flame. Yeah, what sort of scale? As large as possible, the world is in chaos. It needs order or it will not survive. We will bring order and prevent the monsters from hurting it again, as they did in the apocalypse. Words to think about at any rate. Goodbye. Um, can we talk again? Hello again. I hope you found this place interesting. I've seen higher forms of entertainment. You know, every time I talk to someone, people keep repeating everything they say over and over again. Let's try it. 
I know, I have a tendency to do that too when I have nothing original to say. See you later. Um, right, sure, of course, see you later when I said praise the master. Um, hey. <laughs> Anything in here worth stealing, reading? Oh no. Chanter of the children. Hello friend, will you sing a song of phrase with me? Once I was wandering, wa wandering blind in a land that was so unkind. I hate to interrupt your hymn, but where might I meet the master? Who's in charge here? The one who sits above, the one who sits below, the one who rests within. Praise the master for a clarity of vision. He finds you when and where you least expect it. Praise the master. Okay. Hello, my brother. Oh my gosh. May I be of service this glorious day? Oh, that's right. Somebody from... It was the children of the apocalypse said that they had like a spy in there. And that I should talk to one of them. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've heard someone speak in the game. It scared the crap out of me. Um, are you Lord? Can I ask you a few questions about the children? Oh, I'm hardly an authority. You should see Morpheus, the high priest. I'm sure he can help you much more than I. Oh, that's right. The dream god. Well, hello again. Are you just walking or may I help? Are you Laura? I most certainly am. Did you want something? Nicole sent me to talk to you? Nicole? I'm so sorry. I don't believe I know anyone by that name. Well, she told me to tell you Red Rider. I'm sorry. I, I just don't know. Follow me to a place where we can talk. Okay. I've got these guards following me around, so... We're going to have to deal with them. Where's she going? There we go. Let's try again. So, what can I do for you now? Okay, let's ask some questions. Okay, but we have to hurry. Is there a secret entrance into the inner sanctum of the church? Um, yeah, what, what are the children's plans? The children are setting up hospitals all over the place. I think they're trying to get people to trust them. Hmm. Is it working? Oh, it sure looks that way. I mean, people are flocking to their church. Can't <laughs> they see it's a fake? How can I stop them? Find the master and stop him. What have you found out about this master? Uh, not much. The children worship him, and sometimes a huge vision of him appears in the main nave of the church. Oh, the TV screen over there. So he's real? Yes and no. I snuck up to the front one day, and I found a strange mechanical device with a lens under the altar. Probably a hollow projector of some kind, maybe. So, I'm pretty sure this master is flesh and blood. And I also think I know where he is. Oh, uh, where is he? Every once in a while, Morpheus will go through a secret staircase leading below the church, and he enters a secret door with some kind of a key. I think the master's down there. Hmm, do you know where this key is? Well, I'd say he keeps it on him. Will you show me the door now? Well, of course. Oh, I need more questions answered, Okay, though. but we have to hurry. Hmm... What have you learned about the master? Uh, not much. The children worship him. Okay, and so he's real. No. Follow projector. So, um, every where? once in a while, Morpheus will go... Well, I'd say he can... Well, of course. Okay, but we have to hurry. Okay, is there a secret entrance into the inner sanctum of the church? It's not the inner sanctum you want to enter. Then what? I've followed Morpheus down a back secret staircase. The guy activates a secret door at the bottom. Then what? He uses this strange key to open it and disappears. I've never tried to follow him. Well, why not? Because she's scared, Bob? Believe me, if you'd seen the Nightkin, you would know why. Unless you're stupid. <laughs> well, maybe. I My intellect is very high, though. Okay, but we have to hurry. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Waiting desperately for someone to use that pathetic line on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, not much. Yes and no. So, every once in a while, Morpheus will... Well, of course. 
All right, let's go. No, it's not weird at all that I have like cult like guards following me around everywhere. Sister Francis. Oh, is this Morpheus right here? Lead Lasher of the Chil Lasher of the Children. Okay. Oh, is this Morpheus? No, a shop a shopkeeper. The the hidden staircase going down, which actually looks like it's going up. Morpheus has the key to this door. I must leave now to let Nicole know where to let Nicole know what is going on here. Okay. Um, I want to head back out here a little bit. And I want to investigate the shopkeeper and all these other areas, but I realize I'm at time for today. So in tomorrow's video, we'll pick back up here. We will continue to explore the children's cathedral and Maybe find Morpheus and maybe go into this secret staircase and maybe do all those things and maybe go from there. <laughs> it made so much more sense in my head. Anyway, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout video.